Improper pesticide storage can be hazardous to human health and the environment. To store your pesticides safely, follow these recommendations from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. First, buy only what you will need in the near future or during the current season when the pest is active. Don't stockpile. This will reduce the size of the storage area you'll need. Always store pesticides in their original containers. The labels list ingredients, directions for use, and first aid steps in case of accidental poisoning. Never transfer pesticides to soft drink bottles or any other container. Children or others may mistake them for something to eat or drink. Follow all storage instructions on the pesticide label. For example, the label may list specific temperature requirements. If possible, keep all pesticides in a locked cabinet in a well-ventilated utility area or garden shed. Post a warning sign on the cabinets to let people know that pesticides are stored inside. Do not store pesticides in places where flooding is possible or in places where they might spill or leak into wells, drains, groundwater, or surface water. That means do not store pesticides near ponds, lakes, or streams. Some pesticides are flammable. Store flammable liquids outside your living area and far away from an ignition source such as a furnace, a car, an outdoor grill, or a power lawnmower. Never store pesticides in cabinets with or near food, animal feed, or medical supplies. Store pesticides high enough so that they are out of reach of children and pets. Use metal shelving for easier cleanup of spills or leaks. Be sure that shelves are sturdy enough to handle the load. Put the heaviest containers and liquids on the lowest shelves. If containers holding liquids begin to leak, they would drip on whatever is below them. If you keep liquids on the lowest shelves, they won't contaminate other pesticides. Keep a list of pesticide products and amounts you have on hand so you don't mistakenly buy any extra. Update it as you use up products and as you purchase others. Here are a few tips on pesticide disposal. The best way to dispose of small amounts of excess pesticides is to use them. Apply them according to the directions on the label and on a site that is permitted by the label. Never pour leftover pesticides down the sink, into the toilet, or down a sewer or street drain. Pesticides may interfere with the operation of wastewater treatment systems or pollute waterways. Septic systems and residential lagoons are not designed to handle these materials. Pesticides may interfere with the treatment processes of your system and may contaminate groundwater. If the remaining pesticide cannot be properly used, check with your local solid waste management authority, environmental agency, or health department to find out whether your community has a household hazardous waste collection program or a similar program for getting rid of unwanted leftover pesticides. These authorities can also inform you of any local requirements for pesticide waste disposal. To the Youth of Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality's list of household hazardous waste collection programs, Go to the website and click on Publications and Forms in the left menu. Next, click on the Waste Management box. Scroll towards the bottom and click on Waste Services Providers Directory. Click on the PDF document in the middle square. Then, go to the Table of Contents. I'm Pierce Hansen with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension.